Sergei Stakhovsky, a former Ukrainian professional tennis player, is stuck in the war hit Ukraine. In fact, two months ago, Stakhovsky was playing his last professional tennis match and now he's in a war zone. He spoke to us on how would he describe his entire experience and how it's been like, how he has been coping with the entire situation. He also talks about his routine and how he helps fellow citizens amid war. I don't have a words to describe it. I would never imagine in my life that it would come to this, that I would be in my home city uh, trolling in a armored west uh, with a gun in my hands. Um, I, no, I, I wouldn't say even two months, five, I mean, five days before the war I was in Kiev. And I would, although, you know, a lot of people and Americans and, and British uh, intelligence saying that, you know, Russia would invade, even then, I was 100% sure it's not going to happen. I said there was no chance of Russia openly uh, would go into war, invade Ukraine. On what pretext? Uh, that there is that there is no pretext for them to invade. The first couple of days, you're 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 surreal. You don't believe that it's actually happening. Uh, and the next thing you know, you, you get used to it, and you're just trying to you're just trying to find a way of helping uh, your country to to actually survive. Safe is irrelevant thing these days in Ukraine. You're one second safe, the next second something flies in and no one is safe. So the routine is um, two hours of shift, uh, six hours of rest. That's how it looks. Uh, in the six hours of rest, I usually do get out into the city and trying to you know, facilitate different, different humanitarian, I would say, uh, causes as uh, delivering, uh, taking out, uh, driving in, uh, showing that the right, uh, I have, well, I have pretty much good connections in terms of understanding what the situation is around Kiev and what are the best routes to get out.